Hi, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Well, yesterday, if you attended the video, we learned how stress can make us fat, how stress can make us sick, and how stress can even lead to depression. We learned that on yesterday's video and I said that part two today will talk about different ways of how we can overcome stress. So today, I'm gonna to teach you to draw something. And if you're able to draw this, it is the first step towards taking care of stress in your life. You see, a lot, of us, a lot of us have uncontrollable stress in our life. Maybe a boss, a job that causes us stress, a spouse in a relationship, a partner, whatever it is. We may have financial stress, we may have you know, stress brought on by ill health and all of these things, that all exists. We may not be able to get rid of all of those things. But how do we protect ourselves from that stress getting into us and causing disease? getting into us and causing us to spiral towards more and more depression and negativity. Okay, so if you have your paper and pen and pencil, the thing that I'm gonna teach you to draw today is something called boundaries. If you don't know how to draw boundaries in your own life, someone else is gonna draw them for you. You see, every human being has limits. All of us have our own limits. If we're pushed beyond that limit, Okay, it brings us unhappiness, it brings us a feeling of guilt, it brings us feelings of failure, anger, all of that stuff because we feel out of control. Every human being, everyone, you and me, we all have our limits. If we don't know what these limits are and we don't know how to bound, you know, draw boundaries in our life, we start getting controlled by every single person out there. We get controlled by the news that we watch, what people said, what your best friend said, who backstabbed you. All of these things start to control us. By you drawing boundaries doesn't mean these things won't happen. But when you draw boundaries and you operate within those boundaries, you actually save yourself from a lot of stress that exists out there. You won't allow it to affect you. But you see, most people don't know what their boundaries are. So other people draw it for them. And after a while, you start feeling used you start feeling like a doormat because you feel people are taking advantage of you, people are not respecting you anymore, your self-esteem drops, your self-worth drops. In a way, it's your fault because you've not defined your boundaries, so you don't know when to tell someone stop. You don't know how to express yourself to people and say, hey, listen, this is enough. Or, you know, we can operate within this dimension, but if you cross it, I'm not okay with it. So then we retaliate with anger, we retaliate with hatred, we reta retaliate with not forgiving a person, we retaliate with violence and all of these things because people have pushed us beyond our limits. You know, we are human beings, we're products of nature. When you're put into a corner and pushed into a corner, everyone has their limits. A lot of people internalize this because they're too scared to, impress, uh, to express. And what happens is that whole internalization then builds into the deadliest of diseases right from cancers to you name the kind of disease that happens when there is emotional internalization because you become a victim in a corner. The whole of you wants to fight back, but you don't fight back. So all that anger, all that negative energy that would have been expressed if you could talk about it, fight back or do whatever you want in a respectful way is now internalized in you. And we already spoke about the scientific research showing how emotional internalization causes disease. So the thing that you need to learn to do is to draw your boundaries. Number one, your self-esteem is dependent on it. If you don't draw your boundaries, someone else does that for you. Your self-esteem falls right down. Your boss tells you this is who you have to be. Your partner tells you this is who you have to be. Your parents grow up making you believe that this is who you have to be, but it's not you. You wanna be way beyond that. You don't wanna be that definition that someone's put on you, but you don't have your boundary. So you crumble under that pressure, the pressure of society, you've come out of your boundary, and then you're pushed beyond your limits. That is your fault if you don't draw your boundaries. Your self-respect comes down. People tend to disrespect you if you don't have your boundaries. Well, if someone knows that, hey, these are my boundaries. Let's say, let me give you an example of myself, okay? I have a team of doctors, nutritionists, coaches all over the world, okay? To make it easier for me to manage all of these people, I have drawn my boundaries with the team. You ask anyone on my team, what are Luke's boundaries? Which means anyone who works for me knows my boundaries. Number one, punctuality. If you do not obey punctuality for me, I will get angry. I will use it against your performance because these are my boundaries. I don't want to keep getting angry and you can't keep 
you know, thinking that, you know, what makes Luke angry or what Luke pushes Luke out of his boundaries. They know it. Second is loyalty. And third is, if you have a problem, speak up front. If you start making groups and politics and small groups and bitching and all of that stuff, zero tolerance level. You are no longer part of my team. And I have no fear in saying these. These are my boundaries. And because I have these boundaries, people respect it. People learn how to work around me. So I can respect them, they respect me. Draw boundaries. Okay, so that's how you get your self-worth up, your respect up, and your self-esteem. What else happens? You save so much of energy, so much of emotional energy. Again, if I have not expressed that my boundaries are punctuality, and if you are out of my boundary or you threaten my boundary, if you don't know that, every time you're late, okay, or you are late to talk to my patient, I'm gonna get angry. I'm gonna waste a lot of emotional energy. So I'd rather draw those boundaries so everyone knows that these are red flags with Luke. There is a no tolerance with this. We'd rather respect it. So even before I hire people, they know these boundaries. So if you don't want to respect the boundaries, don't join my team. I will find someone else, but someone who works within the boundaries of me and my vision of the company. It's as simple as that. So you save a lot of emotional energy. Imagine if you don't have your boundaries and someone keeps stepping into your private space every day, saying things that are not okay with you. You waste so much of emotional energy, either wallowing in self-pity, calling up your friends, oh, this person doesn't respect me, this person is doing this all the time. That's because you've not drawn your boundaries. You don't even know what your boundaries are. So number one, draw your boundaries. It'll also give you a lot of independence. When you have your boundaries, you have so much more independence and freedom. So how do we draw boundaries? The first thing that we need to know are, what are your rights? If you don't know what your rights are, you just become like a spineless creature bending for everyone. You know, today someone can walk over you, tomorrow someone can abuse you, the next day someone can emotionally blackmail you. If you don't know your rights, the first thing is know your rights and know your needs. If you don't know what you want, if you don't know what your needs are, okay, you will be tested all the time, push beyond your limits and all you feel is like a victim. I need this, but I never get it. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve this. Maybe I'm a bad person. Maybe I'm not smart. You destroy your own self-esteem because you've not, you don't know what your needs are and you don't know what your rights are. So what are some examples of rights? You have a right to say no. You have a right to say no to anyone in the most respectful way possible. Everything that I'm telling you, you should do it the right way. There's a right way of doing it and there is a wrong way of doing it. So know that you have the right to say no. Know that you have the right and you are deserving as a human being to feel loved. You have to first deserve, you have to have that feeling that I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be respected. I deserve to be spoken to well. I deserve to have an, a certain amount of wealth. If you don't know what you need and what you deserve, like I said, someone else is gonna bring your bar right down. And then you're gonna vibrate at that bar, you're gonna behave at that bar, and you're always gonna feel empty and meaningless and like you're used, or the whole world is taking advantage of you, or everyone is taking you for granted. Again, your fault. You've not defined your boundaries, okay? You have the right to express. Every human being has the right to express. Now, if you are not expressing because of your own fears and insecurities, that makes it your fault. That makes it your fault. I'm saying this because you need to understand it. Okay, a lot of people will sugarcoat stuff for you and you'll end up staying in life where you are, stuck in a rut. But you need to know that if you can't overcome your own fears and insecurities, that means you are denying yourself the right to express. You also have the right to make mistakes. You're not perfect. No human being is perfect. So if you don't think you have the right to make a mistake, every time you make a mistake, what's gonna eat into you is your guilt. And your guilt is a very limiting emotion. It will not let you move forward in life. So when you know that I have these rights, okay, you draw your boundaries and you make a mistake and everyone's laughing at you, it doesn't affect you. I'm a human being, I made a mistake, I'm gonna work from it, I'm gonna learn from it, and I'm not gonna make this mistake again. And you take that failure and that mistake and you create something phenomenal out of it. So this all involves you drowning, drawing your boundaries. You have a right not to meet unreasonable expectations of people. A lot of corporates today put unreasonable expectations on employees, threatening them or holding out a carrot for growth and bonuses and all of that stuff. You have to know your rights and you have to know who you are. A lot of people do it because it's important. They want to get that carrot. They want to reach that top position. But if you have your boundary and there are certain things that you will not do, like you will not compromise your health, 
to build your career. That could be in your boundary. If it's in your boundary, you will know your limit and you will not work to meet unreasonable expectations. You know how many people are sick today because they spend their life trying to meet the unreasonable expectations of their bosses, their partners, their families, and so many things. At the end of the day, what do they get? Absolutely nothing. They don't get anything. In fact, they lose everything. They don't get anything. They spoil their health, they spoil their relationships, their personal growth, and everything else. So you gotta draw your boundaries. So your rights, your needs, and then you use your gut instinct. How do you know when people are pushing you in your limit? If you work with your gut instinct, you will know that this person is taking advantage of me. This is not within the boundaries that I've drawn. So you have to learn to be assertive, okay? You can say no to anyone in, this, in a very, very assertive way. No, I'm really sorry. I don't have the bandwidth to take this on. But if you are, if you've not drawn your boundaries and you're pleasing people and you just wanna, you know, you don't have self-worth, so you do everything to please people, okay, you just keep taking more and more on your plate trying to make the whole world happy. And that will drain you out, that will drain your energy. And what's it gonna leave you with? Bitterness, resentment, guilt, unhappiness, anger, hatred, all of these negative, all of these negative emotions because you didn't draw your boundaries or you drew them, but you didn't know how to manage them. You couldn't find the courage to say no because your self-worth was attached to the opinions of everyone else. Very important. So there's a nice way of communicating your boundaries to people. Now you break down your life in spheres like health, relationships, career, personal growth, sexuality, lifestyle. These are your spheres. Now draw your boundaries. Okay, when it comes to my health, these are my boundaries. Maybe the weekends I can go all out and eat and whatever, but during the week, these are my boundaries. I will sleep on time. I will eat all my meals at home. I will not have sugar. I will not eat outside food. Draw your boundaries. If you don't have a boundary, you'll start socializing every single night sleeping late every single night, eating crap food every single day, and then you wonder why you got sick. Then you wonder why you got fat, and then you start getting stressed about that, and you're in a vicious cycle of stress. But if I've drawn my boundaries, everyone knows that Luke will not come out on a weeknight. Luke will not come out if you call him for a late night dinner after nine o'clock. These are my boundaries. So people will call me for a dinner on a Friday night or a Saturday night. They will not ask me to go clubbing on a weekday because they know my boundaries. So my boundaries keep me in discipline and it keeps other people knowing who I am. So I get respect, self-esteem. I don't have to try to act like I wanna please people because my boundaries are very well designed. So I don't have to get stressed out. If I get an invitation during the week, no matter who it is, okay, I'm not gonna be stressed out about it because my boundaries are drawn clearly. It reduces my stress. Draw your boundaries in your relationship. At the start of every relationship, your partner has to know the real you. Draw your boundaries that I'm okay with this, but I am not okay with this. I am not okay if you bring up my past. I am not okay if you bring up my family, if you abuse my parents, if you use foul language against me or my parents, if you emotionally blackmail me. Draw your boundaries. You can't get into a relationship and six months later start drawing your boundaries then. You should know your boundaries so you gotta know you and your self-worth. Your relationship will fail if you get into a relationship with low self-worth. Your relationship will be a doormat relationship if you get into a relationship expecting your partner to fulfill you and build your self-worth. The exercise of building your self-worth is you alone. No one else can do that. People can contribute towards it, circumstances, people, everyone else, but you are responsible for defining what builds your self-worth. You can never have your partner build your self-worth because then they are in control and that emotional card is always gonna be played over and over again. So draw your boundaries before you get into a relationship. Let's say you've not done that because we never knew about it. I didn't draw mine too, okay? You always have that time if you're fighting consistently in your relationships, things are falling apart, all of that stuff. Sometimes partners, lovers have to sit across the table and draw. What are the things that, 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 that pisses me off that my partners do? Draw your boundaries. It's pissing you out because it's testing your limits. It's pushing your limits. You gotta define it and then sit down and tell them, listen, I wanna make this relationship work. These are my boundaries. What are your boundaries? Let's understand each other's boundaries. Now, can we respect each other's boundaries? If yes, a lot of problems will get sorted out. If no, then the relationship is never gonna work. Start making plans to move on. But it is so important for you to know your limits, draw those boundaries, Press it to your partner. It is never too late to do that. In your career, what are your boundaries? Are you gonna become someone's bitch in the corporate industry? Are you gonna let someone walk over you all the time, put you down because of the promise of a promotion or climbing up the ladder? Draw your boundaries. 
that yes, I will always have honesty, integrity, even if my boss is asking me to lie or do something which is against my integrity, I will not do it. So your boundaries also include your values. If you don't know what your values are, someone else will define them for you. So your rights, your needs, your values, what you like, what you don't like, which are complete deal breakers for you. That is what you go into drawing your boundaries, your personal growth, have your boundaries over there, your lifestyle, have your boundaries as well. Do what you want, but you should know when your limits are gonna be tested and when you're behaving out of your boundaries, which can be very, very limiting for you. Draw your boundaries when it comes to sexuality, all of these things. But once you have your boundaries, you need to express it and people need to know about your, um, like I said, there's a right way of doing it or there's a wrong way of doing it. I can use ego and pride to define my boundaries. Or I can tell people, guys, you know, punctuality, this, this, this. I don't like it. It doesn't work with me. These are part of my value system. So if you're able to respect it, we'll have a great relationship together at work, wherever, wherever. If we can't, it's best that we just don't get into this relationship together. We don't work together because we conflict right now within our boundaries. That's the best way to do it, meaningfully and respectfully. Draw it. Everyone talks about stress, 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 stress. Have you drawn your boundaries? So if you know in your boundaries that news stresses you out, social media stresses you out, why are you still on it? That means you don't respect your boundaries. You know what causes you stress, but you don't respect it. So if you know that these things cause me stress, these people, this particular group, this particular whatever causes me stress, it's in your boundaries, okay? Anything out of your boundaries, you don't do. So if you don't like hanging around with people, if you're still doing it, the problem is you. The problem is you because you're not respecting your own boundaries. So draw your boundaries. This is the first step to releasing stress. Today, most people are dealing with stress because they're out of control. Why are they out of control? Because they're out of their own limits. They're out of their own boundaries. They don't know their boundaries. When you define your boundaries and you work within those boundaries and express it to people, your respect is gonna go up. The right people will stay in your life. The wrong people will leave. You are better with the right people in your life and the wrong people out of your life. It's as simple as that. So that's your drawing exercise. Learn to draw your boundaries. For that, you gotta know you, you gotta know what pisses you off, what pushes you beyond your limits and all of these things. And then, that's when you live your life, a life of authenticity, your truth. Everyone's trying to be someone else just to you know, get likes and to be pleased and to be appreciated in society. No, in your boundaries, this is you. If you're acting out of your boundaries, that's not you. You're leading a fake life. So for you to know if you're leading a fake life and that very empty feeling that comes with it, you are out of your boundaries. To know if you're out of your boundaries, the first step is define your boundaries. Define your boundaries and then speak to your boss. Speak to your employees, speak to your lovers, speak to your family and say like, guys, this is all fine, but these are the things, these are my boundaries. Now, draw your boundaries in pencil, not in ink, not in pen, because boundaries can change. As you evolve, you may wanna expand your boundary. That, hey, listen, now today I'm a little bit mature. The things that people say don't affect me, so it's okay. I can have more people in my boundaries right now because I don't allow them to affect me. Or I'm ready to expand my boundary and grow my career because I'm learning how to deal with people pulling me down. I'm learning how, it doesn't trouble me anymore. I'm very focused. So draw your boundaries in pencil because boundaries can keep changing. They can become bigger or they can become smaller according to you, the real you. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.